In this video, I'm gonna be under a time trial making uh, something danceable, dance music, some kind, as quickly as possible using Playground with Ableton Push. Now, uh, these are the kind of challenges which people in Playgrounds uh, get every week and are already having, I think, from what I can see, a lot of fun taking on. There's nothing to say, even if you don't have Playground, you can't take this on yourself. I would love for you to share what you got out of this challenge if you take it on in the comments below. So what's the challenge? Make something danceable in a very short amount of time. This is gonna be a challenge. Challenge two, take one, danceable music. Okay, so let's start this timer. Boom, right. Uh, boom, boom. I want percussion. What tempo do you have? 120, that'll work. So I'm gonna put in some classic kicks for now. We can move them to a different position later if we like. What else? Some toms there. are a bit loud there. What do I want? I don't know. Let's just go for what I was saying before. Am I gonna quantize this a little bit? Maybe a little bit of reverb at the end of that snare? A bit too much. Some uh, hats, high hats. That works. Maybe I'm going to quantize this pad as well. That works. Okay, so we have already something going. This works pretty well. Am I gonna have a bass line? Let's see. We already have a bass element in the tom, so let's see. Let's get away in Dorian, of course. It's not really working. I'm gonna use an arpeggio because it's always a way out of these kind of problems when I get stuck reduce the release on bass one so we've got something that doesn't take up too much space in the mix. Let's find a different sound maybe. Instrument one perhaps. Don't want something too obvious. That works. Shorten that too quickly, so let's just make it a loop of two, but then double that, we should be good. Now, does it need some effect now and then? Maybe something in the mix. No, not really, it's fine. What comes next? Pat? I wanna do something a bit more cheerful. So you know what, it's major time, whoa, okay. Okay, it's simple, but it works. If it works, it works. So let's do this metronome on. Let's turn that down a bit. Keep it going. Filter back a bit, maybe. So are we putting a lead in here? That's the question. Turn 
conventional enough. I'm doing some kind of like 90s British dance music of some kind, which isn't weird because that's when I discovered electronic music. Maybe let's leave that for alone for a moment and look for some more percussion on VA1. Uh, let's move there. Here we can hear a cowbell somewhere. Where was it? Ah, wait. I'll go for this one. Timing is a bit out, but let's see if I can quantize this into position. Shorten it. Ah, we'll just stick with this for now. Uh, what are we just doing at the time? Oh my goodness, only four minutes left. I'm gonna have to go for this, gonna have to be brave. Save time, we're gonna use capture, so record a new and pick up what we have here. It needs to be a bit longer. Uh, I would like to have that last part, but let's give a loop of nine. What we could do is change the loop position so it's a bit earlier and make the loop length. Eight, all the same, let's see. There we go. How much time do we have? Three minutes. Do I need an extra note here? Let's see. Yes, that's it, I love it. Do we need, an, what, what else can we do in the time we've got left? Anything on the bass line? I think it's on the tom, maybe. Wait, is this, it's this one. Yeah, okay, we're gonna play with this. Bring out the drive. Gonna double the loop, make it a bit longer, and mess the drive here. Not so effective, but it's still it, our baseline. Do we want to do something here? No, not that. Saturation, maybe? Let's unsolo this. No, not necessary. What is it? How much time do I left? 151, okay. Can I add one more element? Sometimes you need to stop and not add too many things. So the question is, do I add or do I detract? Or do I just modulate? Or are we happy as we are? Ah, there's not enough time to asking these questions. I didn't want to stop that. Oh, I don't need to do that right now. Come on. Maybe on the toms. Let's try that. I don't need much, it can be very subtle here. How much time do we have? 53 seconds. I think this 
clip should not be playing the whole time. So what we're going to do is crop it. So delete everything else. I'm going to make the loop length 16, but change the start to 8. So we've got nothing in the beginning, or almost nothing, to 9 in fact. Zoom out here. Cool. So loop position is there. Loop length, ah, loop length is too long. Oh no, what have you done under it? Okay, it's time for undo, judicious undo. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be too brave today. Oh, here we go. Here we're gonna have the horrible sound coming in. Oh boy. Which was a great sound. Time's up. Right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is what we have. Uh, I will cheat a tiny bit. I will cheat a tiny bit. I will cheat a tiny bit by um, playing this after eight bars. So let's stop this clip and let's just start this Let It Play for eight bars. And this is going to be my submission for the 10 minute uh, danceable challenge. Man, I got to cover it with a better name. stop this here and, and we can move on, otherwise I'm just going to keep on listening to this on a loop. We all know that feeling. So that was my take on the Make Something Danceable in 10 Minutes challenge. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot actually and I was really smiling at the end because I was just thinking about reflecting on how sort of innocent and, and naive this thing sounded that I had made and it just reminded me so much of the vibe in the 90s when I discovered uh, electronic music, particularly the kind of British side of things. And uh, yeah, I could go on and on about that. I'll, I'll spare us here. Although very keen to hear about uh, your influences uh, in the comments below, if you like. And um, very, way more keen to hear any of you who want to take on this challenge and share a video or audio of what you've done in the comments below. That would be super, super cool. Whether you have Playground or not, doesn't matter. Uh, the idea here is to, to just make something. and. Uh, if you like, share it. An audience of one is already beautiful. Making music is a precious, precious thing. So you don't have to share anything. But yeah, if you if you do, I will be all ears. So thank you for tuning in and joining me on this uh, challenge. If you'd like to know more about Playground or the Push Bible or anything else, check the description below. And uh, most of all, take care and never stop dancing. This is very hard to do this dancing scene. <laughs> well, this year is about doing things I'm scared of, so. <laughs> I mean, if it makes you want to dance, that's okay. If not, that's also okay. Good. Ah, I could do an outro.